Ladies and gentlemen, Kay Kim here. Welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down about 0.3% on the S&P. As you can see there, NASDAQ did get hit harder today, down 1.2%. Semiconductors also down about 1%. But it looks like some of these other sectors are green today. Dow's up slightly. Small cap's up about 1%. The energy's up about 06 Well, actually, the banks uh, is, the, is up about 06 Energy is up about 3% there. Transport is flat. Biotech caught a bit there, about 1.5% today. Emerging market is uh, up about half a percentage. Grayscale Bitcoin is down 6% negative. Gold, uh, silver, slightly up, slightly down. Oil's up about 4%. Dollars down. Treasury bond is down. VIX is up slightly. So let's stick with the S&P. 65-minute chart here on the Spider. So this is where the market closed yesterday and it looks like we opened flat. We did see initial thrust on the first hour, but we started weighing down on that first one, two, three, four, uh, first four, four hours of trading session today, pretty much consolidated here. You see these signals, how they're never reliable, right? This is uh, what they call, uh, bullish pennant pattern. This is what they call bullish flag pattern, pennant pattern, right? It can do either direction. It can break out to the upside or it can break down to the downside. They're never reliable patterns, especially if you're looking at things in the such a short term time period as we're looking at 65 minute chart. This is why I never talk about these uh, continuational patterns because they're never ever reliable this is a bullish this is bearish it's 50 50 chance just toss your coin and see which one lands right so anyway so you can see that uh we initially made a move but then moved sideways all day long and there is that the micro term pivot there we lost it and on the fourth hour we came down guess where it came down to it is no surprise it came down to my short term moving average it is no coincidence we stayed around right on it right above it on the last hour doing that high wave doji spinning top type of candle there showing us indecision on the last hour so that short term moving average at least slowed it down for now but can it do more let's zoom out so you can see, we've been talking about the short-term moving average quite some time. It's resistance, resistance, support, support. It's been almost, this entire month of April, right? It's been like two weeks, uh, 14, 15 days now, calendar days, that we haven't retested the uh, short-term moving average. Last time we tested was right here. It is no surprise that if we, when we did see a down day today, it came right down to that short term moving average. And because we made such a big run here, it was 380s uh, late March, went up to 414. Huge uh, rally that we've seen in the last couple weeks. And so we're just hitting that short term moving average. And difficult to say as of today if that short term moving average is going to. Uh, be that bottom before this thing going back to maybe 420 or so I cannot say that at this point um, All I can say right now is I do still want to give benefit of the doubt though to the buyers That means I think we have a high probability That does not mean when I say benefit of the doubt to the buyers doesn't mean it cannot break lower uh, it can maybe go up again and come back down. There could be some sort of shenanigans. There could be some kind of a uh, um, consolidation sideways uh, it's, it's very early to tell at this point we still do have higher lows and higher highs in the short term could this be that higher low it's tough to say as of today we'll have to see and that you know that doji candle it really means indecision it could turn into something else you can see right here, there's a two couple dojis right there, right on the midterm moving average. So that doji did turn out to be that morning star reversal pattern once we saw that follow through. Uh, there was a doji right here, turned out to be uh, some kind of a bottoming signal right on that 
you know, short term moving average, but we did grind for about a week or so before we actually find some traction. So that doji could mean something or it could mean nothing, right? We need to see how the market behaved. Uh, we are what today's Wednesdays. We have a couple more days to get more data out of it. Maybe we'll get a better idea. Maybe we can extract better, more information if we check out that oscillator here real quick. So here's the oscillator. So the oscillator, what the oscillator is telling us is that the uh, we did make that lower high here on the oscillator. I did tweet this out earlier today on my Twitter account and stock twits. You can see we got that higher high and lower high. By any means, this has nothing to do with any kind of long-term mid term implication this is strictly to do with the short term sentiment of this market basically what he's saying is what this also is telling us is that that last push you saw that this last push right here uh, buyers push there with the empty stomach they they they've been running on empty so when that last push happened on the price action you can see on the oscillator is telling us that it didn't have enough feel to bring it all the way back up to the top of his band, thus showing us that bear divergence, telling us that bulls really pushed it though as much as they can, but they're running out of steam, running out of fuel. So if I kind of zoom out a little bit on the oscillator to get a little bit of better idea, first of all, we still got this uh, support going on here. We're now nowhere near it. Uh, we did see that uh, premature, you know, turn you can see when we saw that uh price actually moving sideways and then the price and the oscillator actually tank this time price actually did come down a little bit here while the oscillator is coming down but nonetheless this might be some sort of uh you know, uh, horizontal support of some sort, it may find support. We don't see any kind of evidence of that. Obviously, we need to see that cross. So that will be the next level of support to kind of watch on the oscillator, which is maybe uh, another hour or so coming down tomorrow. If we lose this right here, about 61 level on my oscillator, then we have that next support level of here, which has been acting as support ever since early March, actually. So, and that, with that, you know, we have, um, if this thing decided it's gonna come all the way back down here, there is the gap area and some of these levels are about 407. And there, I don't, there isn't any kind of support in this vicinity right here, right? So we don't really have much any support, 411 all the way through 407 or so. This is just kind of the, because we just pretty much rallied, um, grinded inch by inch here. So we don't have any kind of lows and highs until when we get to our 407. So if we lose that short term to the downside with the follow through, then it makes sense that oscillator is wanting to come back down all the way to this level right here. And if the oscillator wants to find that turn just like we saw right here with this, right here in that vicinity, we probably wanna see that quick, quick swing up, finding support in that short term moving average. We'll find out how this market behave in this vicinity. I'll come back for you, enjoy your evening and good luck trading tomorrow.